This book is perfect for fans who like hidden worlds of magic, just like Harry Potter, only, you know, possibly better. What book is it? Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. You see, we meet 13-year-old Amari on the last day of school. She's sitting in the principal's office and 13-year-old Amari is about to get expelled from school again. But you see, things have been really hard ever since her older brother Quentin disappeared a few months ago. It's not fair. Shouldn't people be on the news or looking for him? No one seems to care, but she knows she's not giving up hope. And even that very night, she suddenly hears a ticking from inside Quentin's closet. And she goes in there and she opens up a briefcase and she can't believe her eyes. It's a message meant only for her. What does it say? Well, first of all, she finds out that supernatural creatures like aliens and fairies and werewolves and magicians, not like pull a rabbit out of your hat, but like real big bad magicians, they're real. And the second thing she finds out is that her brother Quentin, before he disappeared, recommended her to be a junior agent at the secretive Bureau of Supernatural Affairs this summer. Now she has to go down and find out what's going on and she's already late and she's gonna be competing with kids that have known about magic their whole lives. Why would she want to stay? Because Quentin used to work at the Bureau and if she wants to find out what happened to him, she's gonna to have to figure out how things are pretty fast to stick around because it seems like some things are going down and she even finds out there's one big bad evil magician that's threatening to take over everything. And if you wanna find out what happens with Amari and the Knight Brothers, this could be your choice.